Hey everybody, it's JC the Sniper again with another blade review. This time, have the Bird Cara Cara by Spyderco. It's a pretty fancy blade, um, and I really like it, so I'm reviewing it today. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Um, philosophy of use for this knife, I'm going to say this is an EDC utility knife or a tactical folder. Um, that's a good blade, good size blade for uh, tactical use. So this could be employed as a tactical folder. Um, also very good strong lockup. So um, EDC or tactical use for this blade. Uh, first we'll do size and weight and I'm gonna read them here so I can quote these correctly. Um, overall length is 8 and 11 sixteenths of an inch. Um, with a blade length of three and seven eighths, and the close length is four and twenty seven thirty seconds. Spiderco gets really, uh, really precise with those measurements, and a blade thickness of an eighth of an inch. So that's a pretty good thick blade. Another reason why it would be good for tactical use. Nice thick blades. So. Uh, Good stuff. Um, so it's a nice size. Um, four inch, you know, four inch blade, basically three and seven eighths. Uh, that's going to give you some good reach, and then a handle of, you know, basically four, almost five inch handle, a little bit under five inches. So that gives you some good space to grip on it. You know, I can grip all the way back here. That gives you some good reach. So, uh, or you can choke up on it for finer tasks. So, that that size is going to make it good for um, tactical uses as well as EDC. Um, weight on this knife is 3.8 ounces, and if you remember, that is exactly the same weight as my Columbia River M16. So, good weight. Um, I've always been impressed with the weight of this Columbia River, and I'm equally impressed with the weight of the Bird Cara Cara. 3.8 ounces for a 4 inch, four inch bladed tactical folder. Um, you know, that's pretty good. <clears throat> I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, and of course that comes because they have the FRN handle, or Zytel, whatever you want to call it, and skeletonized steel liners you can see in there. Partially skeletonized, basically just to cut these out. So, you know, I guess I shouldn't say skeletonized. It's basically steel lined uh, with some holes cut in it. And, uh, you know, but they're not real thick. So it makes the knife sturdy without making it too heavy. Um, could have been lighter if they'd taken those out, and I don't think they're strictly necessary but I don't really mind them. I actually like the um, the added strength that the steel liners give me. Um, M16 steel lined as well, so probably why these knives are of similar weight. Um, steel is 8CR13 MOV um, and it's stamped there on the blade, which you probably can't read, but it's also stamped BIRD and then 8CR13 MOV. Um, and basically that steel is analogous to OS 8, I believe. So, a good steel, and I like the OS 8. Also the same steel, you know, this is an OS 8 steel. Um, also, my new uh, Kershaw Oso has that same 8CR13 MOV steel. So that steel's gaining popularity here. Um, and I think it's a pretty good steel. I know that when this blade came out of the box, it was razor sharp. So, very, very sharp blade. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty much shaven sharp there. You know, that's just, woo! It's whacking little pieces off of stuff. So it is a sharp knife, and it came from the factory like that. I have not touched that blade up at all. So I'm very impressed with that. I think that's excellent. Um, 
And, you know, that's partially a function of this steel. That steel can take a really good edge, so we know that. And we've seen that in the Kershaw Oso, and the Aus 8 in my M16 also takes a good edge. So I'm a fan. Blade shape, I really like the blade shape on this. Um, they kind of gone for this little avian feel, making it look like a bird with the eye and the beaky thing going on, because it's a bird knife, but um, I really like the blade shape. Uh, it gives us a good thumb ramp and they've shaped it down here to give us a choil so you can choke up on the knife if you want and I think the blade shape is aesthetically pleasing um, I believe it's hollow ground and uh, that's you know part of what makes it so sharp we also get a good piercing tip and at the same time we get some good belly here so good sweep if we want to make some slashing cuts that's going to be good for that and also a good piercing tip and the way it comes down to the point gives us a nice sharp point so you know I'm a fan of this blade shape I think it's a good one um, I think it's suitable for utility and for tactical needs speed is really good um, as you can see that comes out really quickly and fairly easily um, basically one thing I'd like to mention this knife is it's designed by Spyderco and imported by Spyderco but made um, by a different division basically so it's this knife is essentially a Spyderco Endura or less um, so as you can see the blade shape is very similar a little bit different but very similar um, and the hole of course is different and the handle is almost identical they've changed the shape a tiny bit so you know it's a Spyderco Endura I actually like this better than the Endura it deploys much faster um, the Endura just doesn't deploy this fast, partially because the Endura has a stiffer spring. See, that comes out quick. Um, the Endura just doesn't do that. I know you can deploy an Endura just fine with some practice, but it's a little bit trickier. This one, very little flip needed to pop it right out of there. And if you flip it, you can open it even faster. So, very quick. Um, not quite as quick as my M16, and not quite as effortless but still very quick. Um, I believe it, it has those bronze phosphor bushings in there so very um, very slick frictionless opening which is good. I like the speed. Um, speed is nice and you know actually I would say it's pretty close to this Oso. Maybe a little bit slower than the Oso but the Oso is an assisted knife. So, not quite as fast as the M16, but faster than the Endura, and I think it's adequately quick. I think it's actually really fast, um, you know, for a thumb stud deployed knife. Finger flippers are just faster. So, for a thumb stud knife, or a thumb hole, I guess I should say, but for a thumb deployed knife, very, very quick, especially with a blade of that size. Um, if we compare these blades, you can see you've got a pretty, you know, a little bit more reach there. So anyway, the blade's longer, um, and you just get more reach with it. So, because of the longer blade, and also thicker blade, and wider blade, it's just bigger in all dimensions. Um, it's going to be a little bit slower to deploy, generally, just to get that much blade. Um, but I'm okay with that, because we get a lot of blade for the speed. So... I'm actually quite impressed with it. Um, Lockup is really good. Um, no movement whatsoever, side to side, up or down. No movement at all um, without adjustment. And of course, if you need to, adjustable pivot point, and you can take the scales down as well. So that's all good. Lockup's excellent, and I think perfectly adequate for emergency tactical role. Um, and for obviously everyday utility and of course it's a lock back so it's a stronger design than say a liner lock in general um, lock backs are just strong so good lock up and good strong lock up for a tactical situation